In the previous video, I was able to find the jam in the mirror mechanism of one of the uh, 260 Canon cameras. We called that camera two, which was this one. I then decided to move its working cooling chamber to camera number one, which its mechanism is working just fine. So camera number two has now got the cooling chamber on that was on camera number one. And the reason for that is because this cooling chamber is not working as well as it should. This one cools down to by 20 degrees, which is about 35 degrees Fahrenheit from ambient, whereas this one is only going down about seven degrees. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to repair this camera. Okay, now my question at the moment is should I try to repair the broken part that's inside there. So the first thing I want to do is try and work out what holds the mirror in here. Now the other thing I've got to think about as well is whether uh, I do want to tape the mirror up again as it always has been, as it has to be because the cable from the external chamber, cooling chamber sensor comes through here. So that is why it stays up. Now is there any point in actually taking it right out of here? Not having a mirror in here at all. So what is pushing, what is pushing it up? Okay, well, let's open up over here again and see if we can access the hinge or the pivot that it's on see how easy it might be to remove it so I see there's a bush here that looks as though it will slide off What difference is that going to make to removing the mirror? This is certainly not holding the mirror in position. So it has to be held in on the far side. I see there's a little hinge there. And there's another little hinge there. Now I wonder if I can But if the mirror was here, would this wheel still perform its function? I, I, I think it should. I mean, this lever here should bounce up and down. And the important thing is that this wheel will turn and make its contacts on the encoder as required by the microprocessor. Okay, here we go. Well, that was easy enough.
So now we're getting closer to my question, which is, can I repair this lever here? The first thing that's got to come off here is this spring. Here. And then the spring, and then the broken part. While away making a cup of coffee, I came up with another idea. Do I even need this whole lever? Which means, do I actually have to glue it together? Because if we've got this wheel over there, and we have this encoder over the wheel, and I have this cog there, and I have the motor, then it will turn the wheel. And all that the computer, the microprocessor and the camera needs to know is that that wheel is turning. And it needs to know the position in which it is so that motor can go ahead and do its job. I think that's going to be the next experiment. I think what I'm going to do, almost more for fun, is see if I can run this little motor. I start at very low voltage and slowly wind the voltage up. You might just see. Let's see how this thing connects. I don't want to damage these connectors. Well, I suppose I don't need to connect them onto there, in fact. Um, I can connect them right up there. Okay. Bits and power, and we're starting off down here at what? Two volts. Will the motor turn? Okay, drawing 10 milliamps there. My God, look at that. That is one and a half volts. If I took it down to half volt starts turning at 0 0.2 volts 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 0 0.9, still drawing less than 10 milliamperes my golly this has quite a special little motor amazing okay Let's see if uh, I can put this little motor, fit it back with its wheel, and just see how far it turns this motor. I've got, well, not how far, but how fast. I suspect that it has to be able to start and stop very, very quickly, because it has to turn that wheel fairly precisely. Here we have power connected to the motor. It's engaged with that wheel. So let's see if that wheel turns when I apply the voltage. So I'm starting off from zero. Okay, much after much fiddling here, I have got the motor turning very slowly. Perhaps you can see it there. I'm moving this thing very cautiously because I've got those fine little crocodile clips connected to two of the wires here, but that motor is turning and each time that it makes contact you can hear the multimeter beep. Now what I've been able to do, the other contactors are those three over there, the other contacts. So I've been able to measure against them as well. So let me show you what 
they sound like some of them, they've got different lengths and this is the sound of one of the other contactors so that's obviously one of the longer ones there's one of the other ones that's a short one So those are the sounds that the, the contacts that the microprocessor is waiting for. Okay, what I want to do now is determine which one of these connectors is that a one there. Because I determined on the other camera that I had continuity between the common and four when the other camera was in the resting state. So I've got to put this one together in that position. It looks like here I'm connected to number four. Okay, number two is a relatively long one, so number three is a tiny little one. There we go, that's the short one. So now what I need to do is to stop and go the motor until it actually stops on a beep. And, and one, and two, and three, and one. And one, and two, and three. And one, and two, and three, and. And one, and two, and three, and. Here we got it. Managed to pull it out while it's on number four. So, this mirror box is ready to be mounted back into the camera again okay well here starts the, the final challenge if uh, i took things apart properly i should be able to go back together properly
So I think now what we have is two cameras. Well, that was a pleasing result. Um, I now have two functional 60 camera bodies, uh, which have been modified as astro cooling cameras. Uh, but remember, while one of these cooling chambers only cools down to seven degrees, the other one cools down by 20 degrees from ambient. So my next, next task is to hop into this cooling chamber uh, and see if I can find out why that cooling chamber is not working as well. So that is my next challenge and I'm going to record that investigation and I will show you whatever happens uh, in another video. So uh, a like would be much appreciated and a subscription to my channel would be uh, even better. So thanks for watching.